began to tell me, he said, he said, President Obama, to win the election, ran off of one word. And the word was change. God said, tell the people change is what I'm about to give you. Come on. Look somebody said, change is what you're about to get. Tell them again, change is what you're about to get. Change in your home, change in your children, change in your surroundings. Many of you are going to change where you dwell. You're going to change where you live. You're going to move. God said, there's a movement coming. Look at somebody who said, there's movement coming to the body of Christ. To those of us, amen, that have suffered, now it's time for us to reign. Somebody said, we ain't suffering for nothing. Come on, somebody. Until it's going to blow your mind. It said, in those days. 
days Hezekiah was sick and near death. And Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, went to him and said to him, Thus said the Lord, set your house in order. For you shall die and not live. Many of us, if we don't get ourselves together, we're going to die in the state that we're in. If we don't get our houses in order, we're going to die and have not made it right with God. Because we're stubborn, we're hard-headed, we're stiff-necked, can't nobody tell you nothing. Come on, somebody say man. Can't nobody tell you nothing. And you think that it's something good to be that way. It's good to be stiff-necked. It's good to be stout-hearted. It's not good because it is a sign that there is no humility in you. Come on, somebody say man. The Bible said Hezekiah knew something that a whole lot of people don't know. A whole lot of people have been in the church all their lives and still don't know that proud still works. Look at somebody and say, never proud still works. Proud will still get you out of hell. Proud will still get you out of a hard place. in truth and with a loyal heart and have done what was good in your sight and Hezekiah wept bitterly. This man went to God and the man reminded God of how he's been walking before him. He began to remind God what he's been doing for him. See some of y'all what could you remind him of? What could you tell him that you did that was righteous, that was holy and that was right? Come on somebody. What is it that you've done him lately? Can you say you were committed? Could you say you were consecrated? Could you say that you did everything that God told you to do? The only reason that the man ended up with the answer that he got is because of the relationship that he had. Oh my God. I ain't gonna have no help in here. Somebody say you gotta be connected. When you want the results to come out the way you want them to come out, you got to be connected. You cannot disconnect You got people, and if this don't hit you, don't you don't have to take responsibility for it. But you got people that think somebody trying to stop them from doing so. Right, Ain't nobody trying to stop you if you've been called, go. Amen. If God called you to preach, go preach. Yeah. If God called you to go into the highways and the edges, go on and go. But I'm trying to understand how we're going to get out there and preach the gospel and we're hoeing like we're hoeing. It's a lifestyle. It's not for two hours. 
laws. It's a lifestyle. When you leave here, you still got to live it. When church is over, church needs to still be in you. Come on. You're supposed to be the ones taking the word into the highways and the hedges and compelling men to come. We're so busy criticizing and critiquing one another. Watch this. I ain't going to be long. I just want to get to this point. And I ain't on one point. God gave me one point, but it's here. We're going, we're going. The Bible said, then he turned his face to the wall. The first thing he did is he turned away from what the negative report said. He said, I hear you, but I'm going to see what I can say to God myself. I know that you're a prophet and you've been sent to give me instruction, but let me see if I can have another conversation with God. Let me see if I can ask again. How many of you in here believe you can be in a death situation and you can ask again and God will favor you? Let me tell you all something. You can believe this if you want to. It ain't no whole bunch. It ain't no whole bunch. Because people ain't laying aside every sin and every way. That's so easy to settle. People are getting into their flush. They're giving into whatever that flush is saying. If the flush is saying, be stupid this week. Oh, I'm being stupid. Amen. All right, you got to tell you. All right. Amen. If, 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 if the flush is saying, be hard, you, you're going to be hard. Amen. Right. Amen. If the flush say, be ignorant, I'm being ignorant this week. My God, my God, my God. I, I, ain't, I ain't feeling nobody. And what you don't know, ain't nobody feeling you. Yeah. They see you, they see the ignorance, but they ain't feeling you. Because you know where people are now? People are in a place where they're saying, I ain't got time for that foolishness. You want to act a fool, be a fool by yourself? You get to act a fool with me? I'm not picking the phone up. I ain't seen you. You talking to me. I'm not talking. Come on now. I know that right. And stop. That's it. Other than that, I'm not coming. I'm not running behind a renegade. I'm not running behind people that don't want to obey God. But this man had relationship with God. He was in a place with God that he could ask God to even turn back the hand of death. Look at this. The Bible said he turned his face to the wall. To the wall. Somebody said, turn. Sometimes you gotta turn away yes. from yes. all the noise. Yes. You gotta turn away from yes. people. Yes. You gotta turn away from associates because many yes. times God is taking you to a whole other place, yes. and the people that you're trying to stay attached to are not headed the same way you're headed. Yes. You gotta hit me up in here. Yes. See, in, in this world, many times one thing. When I started pastoring, I used to have folks following me just for me to sing. Uh uh. When I started pastoring, when you start pastoring and putting down laws and rules and regulations, you lose all the friends. Yes, 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 yes. When you're going to live something, yes. look at somebody say, When you're going to live something, <laughs> when you made your mind up, I'm going to live what I'm preaching. I'm not going to stand up here and stand in this pulpit and preach this gospel and then. I'm talking about something that should have took a lifetime. I'm 
said, Jesus. I'm going to turn back the sundown. So what he had to do to add, he had to turn back the head of time. Because yeah. if he had moved it forward, he'd have had to die. Yeah, I got so he couldn't move it forward because his time would have been up. So he moved it backwards. Yeah. 
Nobody, Nobody can stop you, can stop you. This, time. this time, but you. But you.